Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's still a DIY, but it's going to be more of a, an apartment upgrade, if you will. So we've lived in an apartment for two years previous to this one. We just moved into this one three weeks ago, and our last apartment, like I said, we were there for two whole years, and I promised myself that I would redo our balconies. So I've been on a couple shopping trips. I went to Foreman Mills, I went to TJ Maxx, I went to Lowell's, I went to Home Depot, I went to Family Dollar, I went to the Dollar Store, and I think I'm missing one, but I think, oh, Big Lots. That's another one that I went to. And I started collecting a lot of different home stuff. I kind of set a theme of what I wanted, so I'm gonna show you how I did that. Let's get started. Number four, look. Cute little balcony. Big enough. I have about four chairs out there right now, and those are the cushions. I will be redoing those because I'm changing my color scheme. This is the view outside. White walls. Gray floor. Please excuse that. That would be spray paint. <laughs> chairs. I got them from my mom. Thanks, mom. But I don't love them, so I'm going to change it up a little bit. Change the color, grab my spray paint. I'll be using Krylon Chalky Finish Classic White from Hobby Lobby. $8.99. Let's get it. Three of these gray and white area rugs. They were $10 from Foreman Mills. They have a cute little print on them. Thank you, Foreman Mills. So I bought these really pretty, like, gray slash blush blue um, sheer panels from Big Lots, as well as a tension rod. Two packs of command strips for four bucks each. And here I have two tempered glass tables that are super cute, $14 each also from Big Lots. And then I found this at Foreman Mills. Thought it would be cute to add some color. I already have a pack of these, but I bought some more from Big Lots because they were only $15. And they are the light bulb set for indoor and outdoor lights. So more of these that I got from the dollar store. They have these really cute placemats. This goes along with my theme. I'm going to do gray, sky blue, and white. A really nice tray slash plate that I can use outside. I already had some of these, but I did buy them from the dollar store. Just some pebbles. Garden gloves for cleaning. It'll be kind of a cute touch. It's like an outdoor thermometer. Centronella candles. These are actually from Family Dollar, but as you can see, they were still one dollar. Do these super cute hanging mason jars. I think I'm going to put the rocks inside of this jar and then place the centronella centronella candle, excuse me, inside of here. A another candle pail. This is also centronella. I am all about keeping the bugs away. Also, I was definitely lucky to score three of these mats. They're like gray furry mats for the floor. They're gonna go along the space that the rugs don't cover. Also got this really cute glass bottle, also from Dollar Tree. I just racked up today. They had everything I needed for summertime. Last but not least, I'm dying for these pails. These are also from the dollar store. I was so surprised. They're actually really cute and actually pretty good quality. So you guys, an update on like my little flower pots that I got from the dollar store. 
I really wanted them to go on this white wall over here, but, but that didn't end up working out because the command strips absolutely hated the paint that was um, on the brick. So I ended up hanging them right here. I actually like the way that they turned out. I'm actually planning on replacing or covering these seat cushions, but I kind of did a little hack. As you can see, these little knobs right here, I guess they're not really knobs, but these little tassel, whatever you want to call them. I actually took it, they're Velcro. It's actually just secure the cushion to the seat, but I use it during the daytime when I want the curtains to be open, and it came out really cute. So that works out on that side. And then on this side, a little view of what it looks like in the daytime. Got my little table. I changed that setup, I don't even know how many times. A little pails. Like a spotlight, the water hits me. Ran it extra cold to shake the words from my mouth. Though I know that no one's listening. I nervously rehearse for when you're around. And I keep waiting like you might. Those cute little cinematic shots that Paul got. This is what it looks like at night. I love these bistro lights. Update those cushions. I plan to make them tan or get like some slip covers for them, but that's for later. Got our wine, got my candle. I keep waiting like you might change your mind. Throughout the block, I'll get back. But yeah, so it's been a couple weeks since I actually set this up. I kind of was working on it periodically. We got really busy between the business and filming other videos for my channel. But I really hope that you enjoy the way that it came out. I so for me and my sister's birthday weekend, our birthdays are one day apart. So we celebrated them together this year. It was really nice. I had a bunch of my friends come over and we all came out here like at night and had some drinks. And it was like nice and cool. And it was perfect because the curtains really helped keep the bugs out and the centronella candles definitely helped a lot so it was nice to get to use the space because I was so excited to actually have people come over to our little apartment and be able to sit outside and have my little oasis if you will. If you enjoyed this video definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. I will have some other little DIY vlogs that are be coming up soon. More indoor ones since I'm done with my outdoor space but if I update anything I will definitely let you guys know in the comments if you know some things fall off the wall, some of the command strips get loose or the hooks that I use aren't as good things like that I'll definitely update it in the comments but that is all that I have for today you guys so I will see you next time